All right, so it's the next day and the front end's on there. Uh, all the bushings are nice and snug up top. There's no play in the, up in the triple tree. Took the bottom bolt and I cut it down somewhat so I got the correct bolt in there, but I have to make spacers yet for it. Uh, but this is machined down so that it fits nice and snug in this one and then the rest of it's machined down so it fits the diameter of the uh, the wheel so now I figure I'm gonna jump on to something else being the uh, upper springs I'm missing them I had them I believe at one time but I believe I lost them so unfortunately I have to recreate something for up here these are the ones that do all the work every time you hit a bump this is what does the work this just kind of takes the slack back out of it and uh, so that it's not the rods just aren't slopping in the breeze so it doesn't have to uh, be too beefy but I have this this is uh, for a horse uh, for a fence for a uh, wild uh, not wildlife but uh, a game fence I don't know what you want to call it farm fence and uh, it would keep tension on the uh, the electric fence or barbed wire or whatever one pulls on one end one pulls on the other we can go pop that out of there yeah. Almost like I know what I'm doing, huh? I cheated. I took a bolt already once before. All right, so that's the spring that we're gonna go with, and uh, I'm gonna go cut that in half, and they should be my upper preload. So it's eight inches long. I'll come down to two four-inch pieces, but then I have to be able to make one side look like that in the middle, so I'm gonna try heating it up and see if I can bend one rung down to touch the other one. So I'll bring you back after I get that made up. Well, that's a fine mess you made, ain't it? So, uh, got my little, uh, I don't know, you wanna call them guide caps or whatever, made up. This is the second one. Took the spring, cut the spring in half like I was showing, and I heated the top up, kind of bent it down. It's gotta, that's gotta go down a little bit more. To try to make it look like that end, and this end has to be ground a little too. Maybe get rid of some of that squared off point. But the, here's the caps made up for each side. Uh, probably yeah, a, little, a little more than uh, about three eighths of an inch or so. And uh, kind of split the difference with how far I have them cut. And then they will sit in a spring like that, kind of be used as a guide. That's, what, that's why you, I say I gotta grind that a little bit so it kinda sits just a little bit more flat on the contact area. But I have already one done, yeah, so I'll show you what the one done looks like. And that's it. That's the other half of the spring, and you kinda see where I ground the spring flat. And then, then the caps just kinda hold it, the spring in the center. Same idea as what these are. And these they went with aluminum, and then they went with brass. For an insert i just made mine all out of brass because this is going to slide up and down it so it's kind of a wear surface so you need that brass there uh, i couldn't find a, a right size nut in stainless at the local hardware store they don't stir stuff only went up to half inch so these are uh, i think they're five ace 18 thread so i gotta try to find a set of uh, again castle nuts for them if not uh, i'll dress them up in some fashion that's the front end. I gotta go jump now, probably back to the front wheel, and um, make up my shims, uh, my spacers for both sides of that, and try to get all this part socked away down below, and uh, then deal with some other stuff. Hits the uh, when you rotate the front end, it hits the brake leather. I may have to move the brake pedal assembly back a little, but again, I'm just gonna. I gotta job coming in tomorrow brake line so I got to try to make this mess mobile again figures right <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna continue on and uh, try to get the front end at least so it's buttoned up and I could just at least bolt a pair of handlebars to it so kind of wheel it around all right see you in a second Barkeep, hook me up. Just 
that's kind of where all the hard parts need to go, you know, all the who demand <laughs> what needs to be where at what width. I'm missing two washers. There's like two shim washers for this side. I think I have them. I just they're just not in, so there's a little bit of a play. Tires flat. Don't look at the So that'll take a little bit of slack out of this one. But it looks good. So I gotta take that bracket off on my uh, turning radius. This guy right here. That's gotta come out of there. And then I'll, um, at a later date, I'm gonna cut back the nose cone to where it needs to be. That's why I didn't bother polishing it or anything. I knew it was gonna kinda hack it up. So I might be able to shorten it up an inch and just weld this tab forward more and take that much out of the fiberglass. But I don't wanna do that until I, uh, know where everything's going. You know what I mean? Rockers look good. Once the uh, the linkages are on it for the uh, brake shoes and then the cable going up the back side, look good. Very mechanical. I gotta figure out a headlight. I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth between like the two rectangular um, high, separate high beam, low beam, maybe a single like that. I don't know. I think the stock, where'd it go? It's around here somewhere. The stock headlight is uh, just too fat for it. Anyway. So this is where it would match up. So I would have to cut this much back from it and shorten it up. I was looking for the headlight. Hmm. I may have taken it and put it out of harm's way. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's on the bike. That's why. It's hanging. It's kind of big, you know. So I'll worry about that when I get to it, but. And uh, handlebars, this is a Harley dimension. I think um, Harley is one inch and uh, European is seven eighths, three quarters, seven eighths. I want to say seven eighths. So uh, the uh, riser is uh, not going to match the handlebars that I had on the bike. But I did, I did, did, I did look out back and uh, in my winter stash was these guys. So I may uh, just come on like that. I may cut them up. I may cut them up with, with the, um, the original handlebars and see what it can kind of come back to. But uh, we'll get there. I just wanted to get all the. I could set it on the ground, put the weight on it now, that kind of thing. I'm liking it. I'll probably um, darken these out too, you know, to make the upper and the lower match. I don't know if they were chrome or if they were. I don't think they were chrome. Or stainless, rather. It might be stainless. I think probably not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut you down, and uh, when I figure out what I'm doing, I'll turn you back on. The aftermath. I gotta make up a, uh, a shelf to get this all the tooling off of the uh, bench. Just makes a mess out of everything. And I cleaned it right before I used it too. And unfortunately, I sprayed some oil on it. I think that'd be a good idea. You know, keep it from getting that surface rust on it, right? And then everything just sticks to it. <laughs> I gotta go around with a uh, paintbrush and. Uh, Get what we can, fire up the shop vac, put her back to normal. Good old machine, it really is. 
old stuff like that's got like a, a soul and a fever uh, a feeling to it once you start uh, using it and you, you get to learn it's idiosyncrasies so to speak and then it's uh, comes part of you now right, guys I'm shutting you down take care Now I can go in. All good? <laughs> Where are you going? Will you come? You coming? Yeah. <laughs> go get him. What you get? First snow of the year, huh? <laughs> you hungry? Let's go eat! So much for that.